Hey guys, Rich Boy J here back in with another video and this is my 2018 Rebel Army video. This is a little bit unprecedented for this channel. I've been wanting to do something like this for quite some time. I just had to figure out which army was the most intact and ready for me to do a video like this and coincidentally enough it ended up being the Rebel Army. One of the things you'll notice right off the bat is most of the ships I have in this army are custom ships. In fact, the only ships that aren't Lego sets, I'm sorry, the only... In fact, the only sets that are LEGO sets are those two A-Wings and the B-Wing right there. So, the philosophy I take behind this is I'm pretty selective about my Rebel Army. Uh, I think the Rebels have some of the coolest ships in all of Star Wars. And I think that um, there are just so many great mocks out there that uh, are better than the LEGO set. And I decided, why not fill my army with the best possible ships that I could rather than the Lego sets. So I actually do own quite a few of the official Lego set version of these ships. However, for this video, I decided to pull out only the best I feel. So for example, I have the most recent X-Wing, but I didn't want to include it in this video because I have the Inther X-Wings that I feel look much better than that. So if you guys are wondering, like, why don't you have more sets? I do have them. I just didn't choose to put them in this video, and uh, they probably aren't even built in my collection because I have the mocks. So let's start off with the figures. You can see I've kind of arranged these by movie slash squadron. So these are all the Hoth peeps. We got the most recent Hoth Leia, got General Reekin. Got that boy Han Solo in his blue jacket. Got Han in his brown coat or blue coat, depending on who you ask. Got diaper boy Luke. We got some uh, Hoth troopers, or Hoth generals rather. Got Torn Far right there. Got my rebel dab trooper. He gets much respect in the group. He's got more of the generic Hoth rebel troopers. Got that guy with a banana for some reason. Got a lot of Rogue Squadron here, so you can see there's Luke and Dak, and a few out of the pairs of Snowspeeder pilots, and then got some custom ones in the back. You'll notice all these guys are sporting the most updated versions of that Snowspeeder jumpsuit. So um, another thing is for a lot of these figures, I decided to only put in the most updated versions of the figures. So I do have a lot of the older jumpsuits for the Snowspeeder pilots, but I decided to only include the ones that were the most updated versions because I feel that they look the best. Moving on to the back, we got a lot of the Rogue One boyos. So, got Cassian from Edu, Cassian from everywhere else. Got Jin from Edu. Without a proper hairpiece, I'm still campaigning for that hard, guys. We need to get Jin Erso an actual hairpiece. This hat and hair combination ain't gonna cut it. She only wears it for a very small percentage of the movie. We need to get Jin an actual hairpiece, guys. Keep the word up. Got Baze Malbus, Chariot Emwe, Bodhi Rook, K2, Radis. Got Biston, Pow. Uh, a lot of these guys are named. I just don't know their names offhand. In fact, the only one I do know, uh, I think that's Bastrin. Um, but a lot of these guys are actually named characters from Rogue One, which is very nice of LEGO to do for like the battle packs and some of the other sets that a lot of those Rogue One Rebels came in, so I really appreciate that. And I actually had like four of that battle pack of these guys right here, and I can only find a full set of one of them. So I think some of those pieces may be in the crate um, soldier squadron, so I'll have to check that out to replenish my reserves of army boys. Moving on over here, this is um, more of like Red Squadron and some of the people you see in Episode 4. So we got Leia and Lando. Obviously Lando's not in Episode 4. We got Admiral Akbar and his Mon Calamari friend. Crix Dean, General Kraken. Over here we got the most recent Luke and uh, Biggs. These figures are somewhat controversial, but I'm going to go out on record and say I love these new helmets. I think that they better capture the shape of the Rebel helmet. Like, if you look at some reference pictures, like, the helmets definitely aren't form-fitting or small. Kind of like these are. They're very big and bulky helmets, so I don't mind this inclusion. And, of course, the inclusion of the visor in the helmet is just freaking awesome. So, um, I'm hoping that we get more <laughs> helmets like those for these guys, but in the meantime... Got Jack Porkins, I think that's Hutch Vander. Um, got the other Luke with the older style helmet, Theron Net. I think that's just a generic pilot that I made. Um, I guess this would not be another generic pilot. Got the other more updated Dutch Vander. Move back to Blue Squad. We got that boy Merrick 
What a gorgeous figure. Although I have a nitpick. So I definitely appreciate LEGO for making this figure because Merrick is the most memorable Blue Squadron pilot from all of Rogue One. But he has a dual, like a dual printed face, like a face on the front and the back, and neither of those have the visor. And this helmet is not the newer styled one with the visor. So it's like, you have no reason to use the helmet with the minifigure. You just kind of has to hold it, which is kind of annoying. But I digress. Got more Blue Squadron Boyos. Got the two U-Wing pilots here. And the nice thing about those two pilots is they fit in that custom entered U-Wing over there. It can fit two pilots, so that's why I got these two right here. We got Tin Num. We got the Rebel A-Wing pilot from Star Wars Rebels. Got a Gray Squadron pilot. Got the older and newer Green Squadron pilots. I'm still torn um, on which one I prefer. That's why I included both of them here. I'm trying to decide because I <laughs> would like to have some more A-Wings, and I got to decide, like which one I think looks better. So guys in the comment section, let me know which one do you prefer, the older dark green or the newer just plain green A-Wing pilots. Got um, another A-Wing pilot here from Rebels, and then we move back here, and this is just a lot of the people that we've seen in Rebels. So of course, got Ezra, Blind Kanan, Hera, not Blind Kanan, Sabine Wren, Chopper, Ahsoka, and the three clone Boyos. So, I'm happy to have those figures. I don't love them. I still feel like the clone figures should be um, a less pale skin tone. But, um, in the meantime, those will suffice, I suppose. And then over here, this is just everyone else that didn't really fit into the other category. So, we got the indoor troops. These are mostly from that sh Shuttle Tidurium set. We got Leia, Han, and then two indoor Rebels. We got the Celebration Leia, Celebration Luke. I still don't have Celebration Han or Vader, but he wouldn't belong in this video. Anyways, we got two of the Rebel Fleet Troopers, and then, of course, we got the droids back here. Got R2, C-3PO. Um, I don't really remember the names of most of these. Got R-3PO, K-3PO, 2-1-B. I don't really know about those other Astro droids. I think that's that R2-X2. That's uh, Biggs' droid. That's R5-something. Um... Yeah, that's all I got. All right, so let's move on to the ships. As you can see, the big centerpiece of this video is my custom Minifix Scale Millennium Falcon. No, this is not the UCS Falcon. I get that question quite a bit. This is my own custom. I used Marshall Bananas exterior and added a full interior to this build. Most of you are familiar with my channel, know exactly what this is, but for those of you who aren't, this is my big custom Falcon. It's 11,000 pieces, and like I said, it has a full interior, so all the panels pop up and it has every room from the Falcon. So shout out to that Falcon, it's a good Falcon. Moving over here, we can start with the Blue Squadron ships. So. We got a custom Inther Ewing, and this thing is just so amazing, guys. Um, I want to do a video on it, and I'm not going to do a video on it, but uh, I just had to show it off in this video because it looks so beautiful. And then flanking it to its right, we got a Blue Squadron Inther X-Wing, so that is Merrick's ride. We got two A-Wings. We got the standard A-Wing that we see in Return of the Jedi, and then, of course, the A-Wing that we see in Star Wars Rebels. We got a Y-Wing, and this is actually kind of a hybrid mock. This is a combination of Brick Wright's body and engines and the entered cockpit, which can actually fit a minifigure in it. So shout out to both of those guys for coming together to make a very beautiful looking Y-Wing mock. Over here, we got two of Larry Lars's snow speeders. So we got Luke's in all gray, and then pretty much everyone else's in the orange slash red. I prefer the red. I think it looks closer to what it is in the movies, not the Lego orange. Then over here, we have a red 5 X-Wing. This is an entered model again. I just added the stickers from the newest Lego set. And I plan to do the same thing with a Biggs X-Wing because the stickers aren't in the set. I just don't have another X-Wing that is Biggs as right now. So that'll have to wait. And then we have another X-Wing. This is, I believe, Wedge's X-Wing. This is red 2. And um, I love the color scheme on this one, specifically that dark tan nose and a lot of the other dark tan elements on it. And I think that this makes a really cool looking X-Wing. So got a lot of X-Wings in this squadron. And then finally, we have the Lego set B-Wing. So we got all the lettered ships covered in this collection. Got the big Millennium Falcon and we got tons of figures to go along with it. So that's pretty much going to finish up this video, guys. Let me know what you think about my army. 
Um, if you guys have pictures or videos to your army, go ahead and link them in the comment section. I'd love to check some of them out. And I like to make this somewhat of a regular thing once I get more of my armies in working condition. Like, I'd love to do an Imperial one, but you can see my Zeta class is not in great condition. So, got some work to do on a lot of those ships and walkers and stuff like that. But, uh, we'll try to do more army videos. I hope that this sets pretty good precedent for that. But uh, let me know what you guys think about my army. Um, there aren't a ton of many figures, but I feel that it's pretty holistic in what I do have. And I just love the custom ships that I have. Those things are all amazing. So, like I always say, guys, if you like what I do, go ahead, support the video by hitting the like button. Support the channel by smashing that subscribe button. And I'll be back again very soon.